right. So in this uh, sheet, we're multiplying not exponents, but we're going to be multiplying exponent terms. Okay. So when we multiply exponent terms, we don't actually multiply the exponents. Let's take a look at number one. So I have two to the third times two to the second. Okay. So what does two to the third mean? Two to the third means two times two times two. Okay. Then I have two times that's being multiplied by two to the second. So I bring down that times. And then 2 to the second looks like this, right? All right, so I have all these 2s being multiplied together. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2s, okay? So this would be 2 to the fifth power. Basically, I'm just multiplying. If the exponent terms have the same base, I'm adding <coughs> the exponents, right? 3 plus 2 gives me 5, right? So I'm just adding the exponent and keeping the base. Okay, number 11. n to the second power times n to the seventh power times n to the third power. Okay, this time the base is a variable, but it's all the same. Right? It's all the same base. So same base, we're going to keep that base just like we did here with the 2. We kept that base of 2. And now we're going to add the exponents. 3 plus 2. Here we're doing 2 plus 7 plus 3. 2 plus 7 plus 3. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. Okay, so that will just be n to the 12. All right, now let's take a look. Let's jump down to number 3. All right, same idea. Okay, nothing different. All the bases are the same. They're 5. Okay, since all the bases are the same, in my answer, I'm going to keep the same base of 5. <coughs> and then I'm going to add the exponents. Okay, when you're multiplying, you're going to add exponents. 2 plus 7 plus 4. <coughs> 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. So my exponent, my answer is going to be 13. Okay. All right, let's jump down to number 20. Okay, so for number 20, I have a V times V times V to the third. Okay, all right, so... If there is no exponent, that means there's a one exponent. Okay, these two v's don't have an exponent. So there's a one there. First, the base is v, so I'm going to keep the base in my answer. Okay, there's a one in this exponent. Uh, there's a one exponent for this variable, right? It's not written, so I'm going to write one. There's another one for the middle, ex uh, the middle term. And then there's a three for the last term. Okay. Basically what I'm doing here is V times V for the, those first two. And then the last V, V to the third, it's V times V times V. Okay, so that's five V's all together, right? One plus one plus is two. Two plus three is five. So this will be V to the fifth power. Okay, and then the last one uh, we'll look at, let's go ahead and look at number seven. Uh, number seven, I have seven to the zero power times seven to the fourth power. Okay, so the base is seven, and I'm doing the exact same thing, zero plus four, right? If the base is the same, you can add the exponents. Zero plus four is four. Okay, so we have seven to the fourth power. That's what my answer would be. Now, seven to the zero, anything to the zero, remember, is one. So all this is just one. What's 1 times 7 to the 4th? Right? It's going to be 7 to the 4th. Anything times 1 is itself, 